Hi, and welcome back. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's to our stitching friends and crafting friends and in the Eastern Hemisphere. Um, I know Australia hit New Year's last night, and probably the Netherlands too, although I'm not sure. <laughs> so Happy New Year. Um, we still have a ways to go. We have probably around maybe 10 and a half hours till New Year's. It is, let me see, it's 1.30 on December 31st, 2018. So, we have a ways to go. Uh, I celebrate New Year's uh, now at home with my pets and most likely my grandchildren. And uh, yeah, we have a good time, we have snacks. And uh, tonight I'm making spaghetti with sausage and uh, tomorrow we'll have ham and mashed potatoes. And for my friends in the South, I know you're supposed to eat black-eyed peas on New Year's Day for good luck, but do you think I could find any in the grocery store here in New York where I live? Not a can, not a bag, nada. So my good luck is gonna have to come from uh, entering New Year's on my right foot with my left leg suspended in the air. <laughs> I think that'll do. As long as I don't fall over and start really bad. That won't happen. <laughs> Nothing like jinxing yourself. Anyway, this is just my five-day update. I have a few clips to show. And I'll come back on the back side and show you a few things that I bought because I did receive an order that I placed from 1884 Stitchery, which is McKenna's site. Hi, McKenna. And um, I'll have to show you what I stitched last night, which wasn't much. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you my plans and let you know what's on the immediate horizon. So I'll see you on the other side. Hi, and welcome back. Today is December 27th. This is uh, a beautiful day. The sun is out. It's about 30 degrees. And uh, yesterday I worked on Oh Holy Night. And it's becoming less of a beast as I get more into it. Um, oops. Are you going to hear Wally in the background for your kitten? Because kitten's in the window seat and Wally wants to be up there. So, this is where I stand right now. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let me see if I turn this light on. Um, believe it or not, this is 221 more stitches. Uh, I know it doesn't look like that much. But what I'm starting to do in my journal, because I want to get back into full coverage fanatics where I'll have to count some stitches, is in my planner the way I used to do it and the way I'm going back to doing it is I will highlight my working copy with colored pencil for the day. Then I will mark down the same color pencil in my journal and then count the stitches for that day and put it in my book. And then if I do more than one project a day, I will show the colored pencil and the stitch count by the project name, then do the next project name and do the same thing. Uh, and that works out pretty good for me. So that's what this journal is going to start looking like. And because I'm going to start doing the um, temperature chart that I won from Stitch and Mommy, I will also have a high and low temperature range marked down for each day. And that way, if I fall behind, I can go back and get the actual temperatures here for those days. So that is what my tracking is going to look like. And this is my stitching for today. Today is the anniversary of my husband's uh, birth. And uh, so I'm working on Marching Mouse, which is actually Marching Mice. And it's artwork by Scott Gustafson. And this is charted by Michelle Sayetta of Hade. I'm working it on 18 count Bluebird Ada. Um, by Color and Cotton, 
Angela does beautiful colors. And this is how much I have done so far. So I'm looking forward to stitching on this. A few errands to run today, but uh, when I stitch, this will be the thing that I stitch on. So uh, see you again soon. Have a great day. Hello and welcome back. This is December 28th and yesterday I stitched on my Theodore Mouse, which is the only part of this head that I'm working on. There is no background and it's just the mouse. And I got about 143 stitches in yesterday, although it doesn't really look like a whole lot. That's as far as I've gotten with Theodore. He's a cute little mouse, right? His hat, anyway. Yep, so that's where I got with that one. Not too bad. Today, although I haven't started yet and it's afternoon, I'm going to be working on Nora Corbett's um, Holiday Town, Holiday Village. Holiday Village. And this is the coffee house. And this is where I am with coffee house. So, not too bad. I will pick up from here. It's rainy and kind of gray and nasty, and I'm listening to a book, and I've been playing with some clay. Hopefully I will stitch a little bit later. So thanks for joining me. Hi, and welcome to December 29th. It's another gray and overcast day here in New York. It's, it's actually around 41 degrees, so it's not too bad. Uh, I actually had pictures from my daughter and my grandson in Sierra Vista, Arizona, which is only 15 miles north of Mexico, showing me their snow-covered cars. <laughs> because it's snowing in Arizona. And not only in Arizona, but down by the Mexican border, which is amazing. So, and we have no snow on the ground. It rained pretty hard yesterday and was 50 degrees. So, yeah, it's kind of typical though for this time of year. Next month, we will start the uh, 20 below with a wind chill even lower, <laughs> which isn't fun. So, Yesterday, I was stitching on Nora Corbett's uh, Holiday Village. Uh, this is the coffee house, and I put in about 268 stitches, so that's not too bad. And I will show you what it looks like now. Yeah, open it up. There it is, in all of its kind of seafoam green, minty glory. I really love it. I think it's beautiful. And uh, I think I'm going to stitch on it a little more today. Today I'm actually, according to the Tiny Decision app, I'm scheduled to stitch on Wise Men. And I love this one too. But I'd really like to st stitch on Coffee House more. And I'm actually um, scheduled to stitch. Was it this one? Yeah, and I'm actually scheduled to stitch on this again tomorrow. So I may wait. I don't know. But that's how far I am on Wise Men. It's almost at a page finish. I really should just bite the bullet and finish this up, which I may still do. So anyway, I've got two days coming on this. And then for the last day, of the year. I am scheduled for Oh Holy Night. So we will see what we shall see. Uh, hi, and here we are back again at uh, December 30th. Wow, only a couple more days and we can put 2018 to bed and I am kind of looking forward to that. Um, yep, so this is day two on Nor Corbett's Coffee House. This is her Holiday Village series. I'm really enjoying it. This is a lot of fun to stitch on. I was supposed to work on Wise Men yesterday and elected to stay with Nora Corbett 
here because I was just enjoying this one. Uh, today I will work on wise men if I get a chance to stitch. But first let me show you where I stand on my Nora Corbett coffee house. I think that's looking pretty good. I love the addition of the yellow. It makes the other stuff really brighten up and kind of pop. So yeah, this is a wonderful stitch. I highly recommend it. If you like those kind of colors, it is a joy. Um, today, I will most likely stitch on Wise Men. Let me get that put away. Pull Wise Men out here. I did show it to you yesterday, and you've seen it many times if you've been up my channel before. But there's Wise Men. That's a Custom Crafts by Diane Allaire. And uh, really pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. And I'm keeping it rolled up here, so let me unroll it. Get it right way up for you. And you can see... I have one of the wise men coming in already, so that's fun. So I will continue on this one because I really like this one too. Of course, if we didn't really like these things, we wouldn't stitch them. At least I don't think we would. I don't think anybody's out there just to put floss to fabric for no good reason. If we were, I guess you could just use 310 or brown or whatever and call it a day. So yeah, we stitch because we like the things we're stitching. Yesterday, and I haven't got anything I can show you, so I'll just pull some new beads out just to sit here and be pretty. Of course, they're in plastic bags, so you can't see them anyway. I placed an order with art beads. And uh, I, <laughs> I know, anybody who's seen my bead video knows I don't need any beads. But, you know, hey, it's always nice sometimes to get pretty things. And see, that color is really on my mind right now. I love that minty green. And these are gold lined. It's very pretty. Anyway, yesterday I was dyeing papers with tea, tea dyeing um, papers for three journals that I'm going to be working on. Um... One is a surprise for a very special person. One is for Jerry. Hi, Jerry. And one is uh, my junk journal, Junkie Swap. And that's due Janu uh, yeah, January 27th. I have to have a video posted. So look for that when it comes. And uh, so, yeah. So I will leave you with that thought that 2018 is coming to a close. The day, this is the day before New Year's Eve. I hope that you are safe, happy, and healthy. So I didn't do too bad. Um, I think I had over a thousand stitches in the last five days. And that's not too bad, considering it's a holiday season and uh, I'm cooking more than normal and uh, doing other things more than normal. And for the last couple of days, I've been um, working in clay. So... I'm getting the urge to get back into that. Plus, I have three journals I'm doing. And so I tea dyed some paper and some fabric, and I'm getting ready to do that too. So you can look forward to a video on those, or a couple of videos. Anyway, so last night I worked on Three Wise Men. I love this. It is a custom crafts um, chart. It's only a chart. I'm working it on uh, 18 count Easy Guide White and Gray Ada. And I love it. And if you're interested, the size is at 18 by 21 inch. And last night, I did... Hang on. Let me grab this piece of paper. There. Um, I did have a page finish, sort of. I still have two, two stitches to fill in. And they are, let me stand up, they are right here in this wise man's hat. Um, I don't have that color, so now it's gotta wait till I get out somewhere. 
to pick up a skein of floss so I can do those two stitches. But, I mean, it's not like I can't go on and stitch a different page, which I may. I'm trying to decide if I want to stitch more on my Christmas pieces or if I feel like moving on to other things. And I will admit that I am planning to do a um, whip parade. So I may want to stitch on other things besides Christmas. So we shall see. And uh, yeah, so it hasn't been a bad five days. I've gotten, I feel like I've um, achieved a few things. And I've been doing well, keeping track in my journal, which my paper clip just fell off it. Um, so I'm doing my color coding when I stitch again. Let me see. So I'm putting in the color that I'm stitching on each piece. And I am writing in the number of stitches that I'm doing. And believe me, I don't like to count my stitches, but I thought that might help me for getting back into uh, full coverage fanatics and the by the number cell, which I do want to participate in. So we shall see. So today is the 31st, and the piece I am slated to stitch on is Oh Holy Night. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I actually think I'm going to do my new start. And, of course, I didn't get it out. I think I'm going to do... There it is. I think I'm going to start Mini Manhattan Wonderland, which is a Hade. I'm going to also do that on gridded fabric. That's 25 count. Magic Guide. And so I think I'm going to start that. And you'll know... That I don't have threads kitted up in here. I actually pull the threads as I go. Um, I just find that's easier rather than keeping tons of skeins of floss or duplicates on hand. So anyway, I think that's my piece that I'm going to start tonight is uh, Mini Manhattan Wonderland. And then, since this was going to be my New Year's Day start, then I might actually start... Let's see, where is that one? The evening rehearsals, if I can find it. Yep, there it is. So then, maybe tomorrow, I will start evening rehearsals. And that is Inky Coleman Designs. So, and that's also going to be on a 25 count magic guide. So I think tonight I'm going to work on Mini Manhattan Wonderland, and then tomorrow I'm going to actually start. So I'll start this tonight, and then I'll start this tomorrow. Nothing like starting two huge projects right at the beginning of the year, especially when, as I show you in my whip parade, I have more than enough to keep me busy probably for the rest of my life. But hey, what's the fun in that? Right? Um, I thought I would show you my um, purchase from 1884 Stitchery. And I don't know if I... Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't show this one. This is a Leisure Arts, the magazine from December of 1992. And I didn't see anything other than the picture on the front cover. But it looked very interesting to me. And it seems to have some other projects. Who knows? I might try. This is back in the day where it wasn't just cross-stitch in the magazine. There were other um, arts. So, But I thought that that was kind of a cute Santa Claus in his green. Um, kind of a bell snickle <laughs> coat. And then, I am a person who likes twall. Um, and I know that's not in style, but hey, you know what? Who cares? I do my own thing always. So I bought this, which I liked the rooster. <laughs> and it does have a complete alphabet on the chart. But this is from, uh, let's see, 
see, what's this one from? Well, it came from the attic, so maybe it's not that old. It's Birds of a Feather. It doesn't have a year on it, but I just liked the rooster pillow. It does have this full alphabet, which is kind of cool. And this is the toile um, that I really kind of like. And then there's this kind of wacko bird there in black work. He kind of looks like a, a black Baltimore Oriole. But I thought that was pretty interesting. And then we get tons of Canadian geese here. We ha I have cornfields across the street and you can hear like farmers have these big cannons that shoot off every, you know, periodically. They make huge booming noises and it's to scare the geese out of the cornfields before they, you know, harvest it. And so I just love this. I thought this was the most beautiful thing and it's called, um, What's it called? Cameo geese. And I just thought this was beautiful. Um, so I'm going to do this, I think, someday. Uh, it's uh, P. Buckley Moss, um, June Grigg Designs Incorporated. And the chart doesn't seem too bad, but it's, it's one of these that folds out like this. But it is nice and big, so it should be pretty easy to read. So here's to that anyway. Yep, cameo geese. So I'm looking forward to that too. I'm crazy. I am really seriously crazy. Uh, yeah, so that, oh, I got to show you. I did get a gift. My dear friend Lynn in England. Um, Lindy Vons too, uh, here on Floss Tube. She crafts, uh, she does beautiful paperwork and beautiful sewing, and she does Floss Tube. She sent me this great handmade card, and it's polar bears looking up at a wintry sky on embossed paper background, which I love. And it, it's an easel card, so it kind of props up like that, and it'll sit, and I have it sitting here on my desk, um, so I can look at it. Of course, it doesn't want to stay up right now. And down here, it just says winter wishes on the front piece, which is beautiful. So it just kind of stops like that. And you can set it at like an easel on your table. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Lynn. And she sent me two skeins of DMC floss. She sent me a 106, which is a variegated corals and oranges, and 962 which is a beautiful pink color. So I look forward to finding a use for those. DMC never goes to waste. Um, yeah, so not much more to report. I have been watching Floss Tube, um, mostly on TV, on automatic pilot. Uh, but it's nice to be able to look up and, and check things out and, and keep my hands free and be doing all my own thing. So I really appreciate that aspect of YouTube. Um, there are some cells that I'd like to join. I'm thinking about anyway. And I think I'll go into those a little bit, maybe. It may not be in my whip parade. I might have to do a separate 2019 video. I don't know. Depends how much time I have. And if I ever get around to it, we shall see. I hear I've got a cat in here somewhere. And I know Wally had come in a few minutes ago, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he went back out when I ignored him. I don't know. And I thought I would show you my pin that I'm wearing today for New Year's. This is another pin that um, a good friend in the doll community, when I was on Pin Doll Alley, this was a swap pin I received. And it's kind of a wild woman with her disco ball and her big bag. <laughs> I love this. She's all beaded and decked out for a New Year's party. So, and she's keeping me company today. And I'm wearing my bells and bows earrings. So, I'm all set for a quiet night at home. 
in my own way. Um, I don't know. And I have been working on my clay pieces. I've been um, working on finishing, like this is a dragon's eye, and I put him on a background. And I've done some beadwork around the outside of it. So, yeah, I'm kind of spreading myself all over the place craft-wise, too. And I'm enjoying myself. And that is a very important part of life. It's too short not to enjoy it. So, until next time, well, until my whip parade, which should be right behind this almost, um, be kind, be courageous, and go into 2019 with your head held high and be colorful. Wishes for love, happiness, good health, and prosperity, my friends. Take care, and God bless. Bye.